Resolve are about to premiere their last single off of this extended edition of the Human album. It's called Smile. I'm very much looking forward to checking this out. I've really loved the recent singles they've come out with, especially Sandman, which I think I gave a, a masterpiece. It's five seconds to go here. Really looking forward to seeing what this is like. And go. I got like their own theme song there. to start. There's a voice keeping you awake. Memories will never wash away. I guess it hurts as much as it helps. And you know we both feel the same way. That's beautiful. We got full pop rock here. Oh yeah. Great pause. Loving the bass work here. Little gaps in it. Tasty there from Nathan. It's a big old song. Very pretty. Yeah, buddy. Lovely Phil. Oh yeah, slide down. Oh! <laughs> okay! Oh yeah, buddy. No one's ever put this in a song like this before. Oh my god, the tastiness of that guitar. The casual drumming flare in there was ridiculous. Cheeky little double kicks. Massive! The depth of the low in the guitar is amazing. Subtle lead guitar in the background. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely filthy work from Nathan on the drums. Man. Oh, and the gorgeous reverb at the end. Well, that was unexpected. What happens now on a live premiere? I think we're done, right? We're just hanging out in the black. Surely we're finished. And... Okay, we're done. <laughs> wow. Do you know, when that started, I thought, this is good. I like this. 
it was in the high solid realm for me. It was, it was a beautiful, huge pop rock song. I thought it was very, very gorgeous and I was enjoying it, but it wasn't wildly different from the world of other pop rock, you know, slowish, ballad-like songs, wonderful mix, you know, delightful details throughout it. And then they had like a breakdown moment, which no one saw coming. Like in that kind of a huge, almost arena rock style song, you don't then go into prog breakdowns with mad guitarists and stuttery drum pieces. The fills that Nathan was putting in through that song were uh, fuck delectable and just wrapping around gorgeous little moments there. And some of the double kick work when we went back to the epic, you know, pop rock towards the end, again, give it something, a, a bit of a different edge to it, a bit more power than you'd expect in that sort of thing. Huge and gorgeous, but quite clean and and soft and then there's the breakdown moments so many gorgeous details in there i loved as well that sort of repeating vocal line that had a lot of autotune on it for a sort of an effect that was a bed underneath the main chorus bit and it was looping in a different sort of rhythm pattern in the way that that came in and out of the rest of it i thought it was absolutely beautiful beautiful song i would say Delicious. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to hearing that one again in particular. Uh, not necessarily a masterpiece in my head, only because I. Uh, it was really fucking cool how they twisted that up. But, but at the start, I was kind of thinking, this is very pretty. This is very nice, but nothing particularly new. They, they managed to make it new towards the end, but yeah, certainly a delicious song. I absolutely loved listening to that. I'm looking forward to hearing that again. The range of these lads is pretty spectacular. And it hints at the size of band they could become in future. Because this is much more of a, a mass appeal sort of sound. I think it's, you know, it's the kind of thing that could do well on the radio, for example. Um, if people still listen to the radio these days. But yeah, a brilliant, huge, gorgeous, simple in places and busy in others. Lovely balance of a song there in Smile from Resolve. Well done to them. Go check out the extended album of Human. And I would love to hear that and the other two recent songs in amongst the other Human songs. I haven't really listened to them in, in one go to see how they sit in that world. But yeah, phenomenal work, as expected, from Resolve. <laughs> 